Let me talk about these again. Position function usually is S. I know it's stupid, it should maybe be a P, but position stands for distance. How far something's going, how far it is. What position it's at. Think of a car driving back and forth. At what position is the car at? Velocity is speed, how fast it's going. And velocity is always the derivative of position. And acceleration is the second derivative of position, which is also the derivative of velocity. It's a chain. It works its way down. They're derivatives of each other. We'll talk more about what these concepts are as time goes on. This is also a common formula for a falling object. Again, S of T means position. V little zero means initial velocity or velocity at zero. S sub zero means position at zero or initial position. Looking at this problem, I'm given that S zero is 220 feet. Meaning if you drew a picture, this is 220 feet. Are you okay with that? You're on a cliff, 220 feet above the air, above ground level. You have a velocity of negative 22 feet per second. Negative is downhill, positive is uphill. Kind of like a number line, kind of graph. Negative is down, positive is up. So basically what this person did is they threw it down at a velocity of negative 22 feet per second. So this person standing 220 feet up threw it down at 22 feet per second. Using this equation right here, we're going to find out what is the velocity after three seconds this is the first question. And the second question we'll talk about in a second. So how do you find the velocity after three seconds? First of all, you take this equation and plug in what you know. So S of T is equal to negative 16. We don't know the time. Actually, we do know the time, but not yet. Do we know our initial velocity? Yeah, wasn't it negative 22? And do we know our initial position? Do you see how I put in my initial velocity, initial position? Now, I want to know the velocity at 3. So don't I need to find my velocity function? How do you find your velocity function? Well, what's it say here? Velocity is the derivative of position. So can I derive this upper function? Yeah. Negative 32t minus 22. Correct? That's my velocity function. Now looking at that, don't I want v of 3? So don't I just plug in 3? So what is my velocity at 3? Well, this would be negative 96 minus 22, which is negative 118. And velocity, according to the information, is in feet per second. So that's V of 3. That's the, the velocity at 3 seconds. That's how fast it's going. Gravity is going to keep pulling down faster and faster and faster. We're more familiar with miles per hour. It's using feet per second. Now what this problem is saying right here is, what's V of T when S of T equals 112? So when S of T equals 112, meaning when the object is 112 feet, see right here? 112 feet maybe right there, halfway down. What's the velocity when the, when the object is halfway down the hill? Not halfway, but about 112 feet. So first, don't you have to find out at what time it's halfway down? So could I just plug in this to the original function right here? 112 equals negative 16 t squared minus 22t plus 22, 220. And I can solve that. 
kind of annoying, but you could solve that for t. Once you know t, could you plug that in and find out when the velocity, what is the velocity at that time? From here we find time. Once we know time, can we take this velocity function, plug it in, and find out what is the velocity at that time? <coughs> so the first thing you do to solve this is minus this over. And it looks like you end up with 0 equals negative 16t squared minus 22t plus 108. Now, I'm not going to take the time to solve this. But do you understand you're going to find t? Do you understand there can be two answers? Now, if one of them's negative, can I ignore it? If one of them's negative, I can ignore it because can you have negative time? Now, if they're both positive, that doesn't make sense. Would it be positive? Can you have two times where it's that? Unless it bounces, not really. Okay? So basically, don't you understand? One of them is going to be negative, one's going to be positive. Ignore the negative answer. Take whatever positive answer you have, the one positive, and you're going to basically, whatever answer this is, you're going to plug it into velocity. That's going to give you the velocity then. Okay. Lastly, it's going to take you a bit to get used to this, especially if you haven't taken physics. <laughs> you got to get used to the velocity acceleration stuff. 98 is a big picture here. This is a picture of somebody walking. This is time. This is distance. So at 6.5, meaning at 6, after 6 seconds, he is 5 feet away from his beginning point, or 5 miles, or 5 something. Got it? <coughs> from this point to this point, what did he do? Well, at 8. It's from 6 to 8, isn't that 2 seconds or 2 whatever? Did his distance change? So can you understand he stopped? His distance change, did not change. He stopped moving. And then here, do you see how he started moving again? Because he moved from here 5, sorry, from 5 to 6, he moved 1 foot in how many seconds? 2 seconds? Hopefully you can kind of see this. Now, that's kind of what it's describing. That's a position function. They want you to graph the velocity function. They want you to graph the derivative. OK. Now, to graph the derivative, let's think about this. For the first interval to 6, what's that slope? Isn't derivative mean slope? And isn't the slope the same from here to here? <coughs> so from here to here, my slope is, well, didn't it go up how far? Up 5 over 6. So wouldn't it be about 5, 6? So if you're making a graph here, isn't the slope 5, 6? So if this is, I'm going to go by 1's here. 5, 6 would be right up here. So isn't the slope constant? About 5, 6. Are you guys okay with that? The slope is a constant 5, 6. Open circle because is there a derivative at that point? Jagged edges do not have derivatives, so it's an open circle. What's the slope of this line from here to here? Yeah. Zero. So from here to here, you're going to have zero, correct? Your slope is zero for the next section. Is that okay? And for the last bit, the slope is, it looks like you rise 1 and over 2. So for the last bit, from here to 10, isn't it about 1 half? That's about 1 half. That one was about 5, 6. That's 0. This is the graph of the velocity. It's a piecewise. It wasn't the equation, original equation of piecewise. So this slope was 5, 6, this slope was 0, and this slope is 1 half. Looking at the coordinates and so forth. It's a funky looking graph.